Every year, more than 40,000 children get seen by a doctor to be treated for cancer, and hospitals can be an intimidating place, especially if you're a child. But a local artist is bringing a little color to those walls. News 8's Jordan Fremstad has the story. The power Sarah Peterson wields with a paintbrush. I love to be able to use my creativity. Is reflected on these walls. Dare I say, oh, just a whole variety. She can focus on more than meets the eye. You name it, I can paint it. <laughs> and painting was not her first passion. I never was a painter when I was younger. I loved to draw. But a fascination with perspective brings us to this room. And I started learning about trompe l'oeil murals, which are murals that fool your eye. At first glance, her work appears to have a mind of its own. Yes. She owns yeah. her own business. And my business is Lucid Painting. Like the dream. Lucid dream is when you're dreaming and you realize you're dreaming. So your dream kind of comes to life. So I named my business Lucid Painting because I'm bringing your walls to life. This room is called the Marsh Room at Gunderson Health System's Pediatric Oncology Wing. We have elements from the marsh that come into the room. I have a Blandings turtle over on the ledge and a pickerel frog. I have an ebony jewel wing. It's a kind of a dragonfly up on there. It's as if hope had color. One of the things we wanted to make sure to do with these murals is to create a calming environment. When children are here and not out here, she brings the peace of lacrosse's country to them. It really raises everybody's spirits. Dr. Tony Peters says it makes a big impact on these kids. It is, yeah. They're staring at them and touching them like they can't believe their paintings. The famous French artist Henri Matisse once said, creativity takes courage. And the same could be said about those dealing with this battle. I'm so grateful to be able to do this. Peterson's creative courage is helping cancer patients find their own through colors of hope. I don't care to paint for myself necessarily, but to paint for other people when I see their reactions and their joy. Sometimes my paintings bring people to tears because it's in memory of someone or it's been a special place that they've been. It's it just really meaningful to me. In Lacrosse, this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8. Wow, you can see how that would make a difference too as far as the she environment is, yeah. they're in. It's so amazing what she's painting. Yeah, so talented, yeah. Yeah, all right, well Sarah says that all the animals that she paints are actually painted to scale. And every room she paints has a different theme and she hopes her work will continue to bring joy to patients and their families. All right.